morning. <laughs> it is about 4.08 or something like that. We have to get there by 4.30. Why was I walking in city center Jerusalem at 4.08 in the morning and where do I need to be by 4.30? Let me show you. Hi everyone, I am in the garden tomb or at the garden tomb. It's a very, very special place. It's green and calm and serene and it is the place where people believe that is uh, where Yeshua was buried. Now there's a few locations like this that they believe that he was allegedly buried. Um, but this one is outside of the old city. You can see around me, it's very, very green and very calm and quiet and very serene. And honestly, it's a, it sort of reminds me of uh, Christchurch. If you guys have ever been uh, to Christchurch in uh, the old city, it has this like peaceful garden vibe. And it's just really, really lovely. So let me take you guys on a tour of the place and I'll explain what you're seeing. So when you enter into the garden tomb on your left, you'll see a souvenir shop with basically every cool thing that you can buy. And then when you continue straight, you get to the tomb itself. They renovated it in recent years and made it really green and nice and luscious that you can access it through a wheelchair if you need to. Uh, they have scriptures all around, and then you get to the entrance itself. Okay, we're going in. <sighs> this is how it looks on the inside. It smells good. I feel like they put myrrh in here or something. Like it smells like spices. You can see that the floor is well, well walked on. It's very smooth. But yeah, people come here, come here a lot. There's thousands of people that come through this place. You know, it really does, I really do wonder where he was resurrected, where he was buried. That could be a very cool thing to see. The garden tomb has a lot of different places where you can sit. They have these cool benches just all over the place and some are more hidden, some are out in the open. And you can come and enjoy walking around in the gardens. So as it goes in the New Testament, Jesus was crucified on the cross for the sins of the world. He was placed in a tomb and after three days he was resurrected. So Mary Magdalene and a group of women came to the tomb on the third day early in the morning but instead of finding Yeshua in the tomb, the tomb was empty. Imagine the excitement that you would feel if your savior was dead and you were grieving and disappointed only to discover that he actually came back to life for you so that you can be with him for all of eternity without sin. I mean, it's such a great, great joy. So the tradition nowadays is that people all over the world will wake up very, very early before sunrise and gather together and remember what Yeshua did for us. He forgave us our sins. And I think it's a really special thing to do because not on every day do you wake up early in the morning before the sun rises and gather with a group of people so that you can remember the miracle of His resurrection and forgiveness. And so doing this, I think, at least the fifth year right now in a row, it is such a special thing because you're remembering the miracle of his resurrection together. So I highly recommend it if you're in Israel. So this is where the band is going to be. And then there's going to be a guy preaching, I think, up there somewhere. This is where we set up every single time. I think you guys saw in the last vlog that I was here also. Oreo, amazing person. She's actually leading us all today. Uh, <laughs> she shows us how to set up the lights, how to do cameras, and then how to make action happen. Okay, for you, amazing. I'm like the worst person on the world to know what a cable is. <laughs>
bit later than what I actually wanted, but it's okay. I won't be late. We have to get there by 4.30. I barely slept. I think I fell asleep very late. I'm grateful to be able to walk to the garden tomb. I'm actually very, very pleasantly surprised that it's not cold. Um, I could literally just take this jacket off. I see a group of probably Asian tourists and they're all walking towards the garden tomb. You guys will be surprised how early people get in line so that they can be the first to go in so that they can get good seats. Oh my dear, look at that. Look how fancy, how nice. They've already got the lighting on and some people are, are already here. Here's the setup. Basically the band is all here. Then we have camera people all around. It's pretty lovely. It's pretty nice. There's a different atmosphere here at night for sure. So he put uh, the worship behind and you can also hear the mosque for the 5 a.m. prayer. So this is the proximity um, that we're in that it's just a whole lot of different mesh of religions. Oh my gosh, breakfast and goodies. <laughs> so the birds are chirping. It's not, it's not light yet, but I wanted to show you guys the tomb during the night. Ta-da! There's a certain type of charm to it, I think. A certain type of charm. Whoop. It definitely smells like myrrh here. It smells like myrrh for sure. But I was saying, I mean, the reason that they do the sunrise service at this time is because uh, when Mary Magdalene, I think two other women, uh, came to the grave, it was still dark. It was still technically nighttime, but uh, it was very early. So, yes, this place has a different charm in the night. Check. TCA. We're almost ready. The sun is coming up. It's getting more brighter and brighter, and people are starting to stream in. And so we're almost there. I think by 11, we should be all packed. It's actually very loud once the music starts and everything, and everyone's singing. So on comms, you have to like really listen very well. So we have to be on comms and basically two seconds from now. But, um, yeah, it is exciting, you know what? Every single year it gets uh, a bit more exciting. that we just wrapped Sunday service 2024 yes so I would say that it was successful there's a whole lot of people and uh, now it's just an issue of taking everything down and waiting till everyone gets out of the way so that we can pack up, pack up and go <laughs> I know. All right, people. That's another year. That's a wrap. I'm very happy that it went by really quickly with really fun people to work with. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog and behind the scenes of how things work at the sunrise service in the garden tomb. Um, if you guys are new here, then welcome. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with whoever you think might like this type of content and uh, if you're not new here then welcome back I love you and I will see you guys in a vlog <laughs> very soon